The parallel axis theorem, also known as Huygens Steiner theorem, or just as Steiner's theorem, named after Christian Huygens and Jakob Steiner, can be used to determine the mass moment of inertia or the second moment of area of a rigid body about any axis, given the body's moment of inertia about a parallel axis through the object's center of gravity and the perpendicular distance between the axes. Topic. Mass moment of inertia Suppose a body of mass m is made to rotate about an axis z passing through the body's center of gravity. The body has a moment of inertia i c m with respect to this axis. The parallel axis theorem states that if the body is made to rotate instead about a new axis z which is parallel to the first axis and displaced from it by a distance d, then the moment of inertia i with respect to the new axis is related to i c m by i equals i c m plus m d 2 display style i equals i underscore mathrm cm plus m d caret 2 explicitly d is the perpendicular distance between the axes z and z the parallel axis theorem can be applied with the stretch rule and perpendicular axis theorem to find moments of inertia for a variety of shapes Topic. Derivation We may assume, without loss of generality, that in a Cartesian coordinate system the perpendicular distance between the axes lies along the x-axis and that the center of mass lies at the origin. The moment of inertia relative to the z-axis is I C M equals x 2 plus y 2 d m display style i underscore mathrm cm equals int x caret 2 plus y caret 2 dm the moment of inertia relative to the axis z, which is a perpendicular distance d along the x-axis from the center of mass, is i equals x plus d 2 plus y 2 d m Display style i equals int left x plus d caret two plus y caret two right dm. Expanding the brackets yields i equals x two plus y two d m plus D two D M plus two D X D M Display style i equals int x caret two plus y caret two dm plus d caret two int dm plus two d int x dm the first term is ICM and the second term becomes MD2. The integral in the final term is a multiple of the x coordinate of the center of mass, which is zero since the center of mass lies at the origin. So, the equation becomes I equals I C M plus M D two 
Display style I equals I underscore mathem CM plus MD carrot two. Topic Tensor generalization. The parallel axis theorem can be generalized to calculations involving the inertia tensor. Let IIJ denote the inertia tensor of a body as calculated at the center of mass. Then the inertia tensor JIJ is calculated relative to a new point as J I J equals I I J plus M R two Delta I J minus R I R J Display style J underscore I J equals I underscore I J plus M left Math BF R carrot two delta underscore I J R underscore I R underscore J right where R equals R one X carrot plus R two Y carrot plus R three Z carrot Display style Math BF R equals R underscore one Math BF hat X plus R underscore two Math BF hat Y plus R underscore three Math BF hat Z is the displacement vector from the center of mass to the new point, and delta IJ is the Kronecker delta. For diagonal elements, when I equals j, displacements perpendicular to the axis of rotation results in the above simplified version of the parallel axis theorem. The generalized version of the parallel axis theorem can be expressed in the form of coordinate free notation as j equals i plus m R R E three minus R R Display style Math BF J equals Math BF I plus M left left Math BF R C D O T Math BF R right Math BF E underscore three Math BF R O times Math BF R right Where E three is the three times three identity matrix and Display style O times is the outer product. Further generalization of the parallel axis theorem gives the inertia tensor about any set of orthogonal axes parallel to the reference set of axes x, y and z, associated with the reference inertia tensor, whether or not they pass through the center of mass. Topic. Area moment of inertia. The parallel axes rule also applies to the second moment of area area moment of inertia for a plane region D I Z equals I X plus A R 2 Display style I underscore Z equals I underscore X plus AR carrot two 
where is is the area moment of inertia of d relative to the parallel axis, x is the area moment of inertia of d relative to its centroid, a is the area of the plane region d, and r is the distance from the new axis z to the centroid of the plane region d. The centroid of d coincides with the center of gravity of a physical plate with the same shape that has uniform density. Topic. Polar moment of inertia for planar dynamics The mass properties of a rigid body that is constrained to move parallel to a plane are defined by its center of mass r equals x, y in this plane, and its polar moment of inertia i r around an axis through r that is perpendicular to the plane. The parallel axis theorem provides a convenient relationship between the moment of inertia as around an arbitrary point S and the moment of inertia I R about the center of mass R. Recall that the center of mass R has the property V rho R R minus R D V equals zero. Display style int underscore v row math bf r math bf r math bf r d v equals zero, where r is integrated over the volume five of the body. The polar moment of inertia of a body undergoing planar movement can be computed relative to any reference point S. I S equals V Rho R R minus S R minus S D V Display style i underscore s equals int underscore v row math bf r math bf r math bf s c d o t math bf r math bf s d v, where s is constant and r is integrated over the volume five. In order to obtain the moment of inertia as in terms of the moment of inertia I R, introduce the vector d from S to the center of mass R I S equals V Rho R R minus R plus D R minus R plus D D V equals V row R R minus R R minus R D V plus two D V Row R R minus R D V plus V row R D V D D display style begin aligned I underscore S and equals int underscore V row Math BF R Math BF R Math BF R plus Math BF D C D O T Math BF R Math BF R plus Math BF D D V and equals int underscore V row Math BF R Math BF R Math BF R C D O T Math BF R Math BF R D V plus two Math BF D C D O T left int underscore V row Math BF R Math BF R Math BF R D V right plus left int underscore V row Math BF R D 
V right Math BF D C D O T Math BF D end aligned the first term is the moment of inertia I R, the second term is zero by definition of the center of mass, and the last term is the total mass of the body times the square magnitude of the vector d. Thus, I s equals I r plus m d two. Display style I underscore s equals I underscore r plus m d caret two, which is known as the parallel axis theorem. Topic: Moment of inertia matrix. The inertia matrix of a rigid system of particles depends on the choice of the reference point. There is a useful relationship between the inertia matrix relative to the center of mass R and the inertia matrix relative to another point S. This relationship is called the parallel axis theorem. Consider the inertia matrix is obtained for a rigid system of particles measured relative to a reference point S, given by I S equals minus I equals 1 N M I R I Minus S R I minus S display style I underscore S equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N M underscore I R underscore I S R underscore I S where redefines the position of particle pi I equals one N. Recall that re minus s is the skew symmetric matrix that performs the cross product R I minus S Y equals R I minus S times Y Display style R underscore I S Math BF Y equals Math BF R underscore I Math BF S times Math BF Y for an arbitrary vector Y. Let R be the center of mass of the rigid system, then R equals R minus S plus s equals d plus s display style math bf r equals math bf r math bf s plus math bf s equals math bf d plus math bf s where d is the vector from the reference point s to the center of mass r use this equation to compute the inertia matrix i s equals minus i equals 1 n m i r i Minus R plus D R I minus R plus D Display style I underscore S equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N M underscore I R underscore I R plus D R underscore I R plus D Expand this equation to obtain I S equals minus I equals one N M I R 
I minus R R I minus R plus minus I equals one N M I R I minus R D plus D minus I equals one N M I R I minus R plus minus I equals one N M I D D Display style I underscore S equals left sum underscore I equals one carrot N M underscore I R underscore I R R underscore I R right plus left sum underscore I equals one carrot N M underscore I R underscore I R right D plus D left sum underscore I equals one carrot N M underscore I R underscore I R right plus left sum underscore I equals one carrot N M underscore I right D D The first term is the inertia matrix I R relative to the center of mass. The second and third terms are zero by definition of the center of mass R I equals one N M I R I minus R equals zero. Display style sum underscore I equals one carrot N M underscore I math BF R underscore I math BF R equals zero. And the last term is the total mass of the system multiplied by the square of the skew symmetric matrix D constructed from D. The result is the parallel axis theorem I S equals I R minus M D two Display style I underscore S equals I underscore R M D carrot two where D is the vector from the reference point S to the center of mass R. Topic Identities for a skew symmetric matrix In order to compare formulations of the parallel axis theorem using skew symmetric matrices and the tensor formulation, the following identities are useful. Let R be the skew symmetric matrix associated with the position vector R equals x, y, z, then the product in the inertia matrix becomes minus R R equals minus zero minus Z Y Z zero minus X minus Y X zero two equals Y Two plus Z two minus X Y minus X Z minus Y X 
x 2 plus z 2 minus y z minus z x minus z y x 2 plus y 2 display style r r equals begin b matrix 0 and z and y z and 0 and x y and x and 0 end b matrix caret 2 equals begin b matrix y caret 2 plus z caret 2 and x y and x z y x and x caret 2 plus z caret 2 and y z z x and z y and x caret 2 plus y caret 2 end b matrix. This product can be computed using the matrix formed by the outer product R R T using the identify minus R two equals R two E three minus R R T equals X two plus Y two plus Z two zero 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 x two plus y two plus z two zero 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 x two Plus y two plus z two minus x two x y x z y x y two y z z x z y z two display style r caret two equals math bf r caret two e underscore three math bf r math bf r caret t equals begin b matrix x caret two plus y caret two plus z caret 2 and 0 and 0 0 and x caret 2 plus y caret 2 plus z caret 2 and 0 0 and 0 and x caret 2 plus y caret 2 plus z caret 2 and b matrix begin b matrix x caret 2 and x y and x z y x and y caret 2 and y z z x and z y and z caret 2 and b matrix where e3 is the 3 times 3 identity matrix also notice that r 2 equals r r equals tr r r t Display style Math BF R carrot two equals Math BF R C D O T Math BF R equals Operator name T R Math BF R Math BF R carrot T where T R denotes the sum of the diagonal elements of the outer product matrix, known as its trace. Topic. See also Christian Huygens Jakob Steiner Moment of inertia Perpendicular axis theorem Rigid body dynamics Stretch rule